Hi, good morning, students. This is revision class for class tenth. So, in this class, we will discuss whatever the topic we had in last week. We just recap. We just revise it. Okay. So, in class ten, the first topic is height and distances, and second one is circles. So, first we see whatever the uh, facts we use in. Height and distances, and then circles. So first one is height and distances. So in this particular lecture, first we see what is angle of elevation. Angle of elevation. Which is very useful. So suppose this is the tower or whatever the things, building, whatever the things. Here I is there, and one of the mm, man observe the this point. Okay. So whatever angle is made. And his eye is known as angle of elevation. Angle of elevation. Okay. Similarly, second one is the angle of depression. Second one is angle of depression. Angle of depression. Angle of depression. So, what it is the angle of depression? Suppose now observer is there, and this particular point make an angle. Suppose this is theta one. Then theta one is known as Angle of depression. Okay, and as you know, these two lines are parallel, and this angle is also theta alpha. Understood? Okay, now one more is subtended angle. What is subtended angle? Subtended angle. If an object is there. An observer is there. If both the point from he see, he or she see both the point, then the angle made by this object on his eye is known as subtended angle. Subtended angle. Subtended angle. Now we will see a question, and then after circle.
see this question the angles of elevation of the top of tower from two points at a distance of 4 meter and 9 meter from the base of the tower and in the same straight line with it are complementary prove that height of the tower is 6 cm ok so see we have given a question this is a question from NCIT example or NCIT book so first of all tower is there there are two points supposed to be A and B the distances of these points from the tower is 4 and 9 meter respectively ok 4 and 9 meter from the base of the tower and is the same straight line with our complementary and the angle of elevations are complementary that means if one is theta then another is 90 minus theta now we have to find the height of the tower that means we need to find we need to prove the height of tower is 6 centimeter or whatever uh, given ok so the first of all we use in triangle ADC in triangle ADC we have tan theta is equals to what h by 4 simply you write h by 4 this is equation number 1 and again in triangle BDC BDC we have tan of 90 minus theta is equals to h by 9 so this is nothing but cot theta this is h by 9 question number 2 we need to find the value of h so see this one is tan theta and this is the cot theta if we multiply both of them then tan theta cot theta becomes 1 so 1 multiplied by 2 implies tan theta into cot theta is equals to h by 4 and h by 9 so this is 1 and this is h square by 36 so h square is equal to 36 which implies h equal to plus plus minus 6 but distance is all, always positive so this is positive 6 ok so noting down this question this is the important one Ok, so I hope I have completed this one. Now one more question based on this. See. This is a very important topic from your point, board point of view. So please try to solve the question based on this. This is the next question. This is also from NCRT or Exampler. From the top of a 7 meter high building, the angle of elevation of the top of the cable tower is 60 degree and the angle of depression of foot is 45 degree. 
find the height of the tower so let us see first you see this is the tower okay 7 meter high building the angle of elevation of the top of cable tower this is the 7 meter high building from the top of the building the angle of elevation of top of the tower is 60 degree and angle of depression of building is from the building from the foot of the tower is what this is nothing but 45 degree. so you know very well this becomes 45 naming of the c d e okay now we need to find the height of the tower okay we need to find the height of the tower so first of all you see this is 7 supposed to be this is x then this becomes x suppose this is uh, y then the whole distance is y plus 7 because this is 7 meter only okay now first we see in triangle cde in triangle cde we have tan 60 is equals to y by x y by x okay so tan 60 is what root 3 y by x so y becomes x under root 3 this is equation number 1 and now in triangle adb in triangle adb we have tan 45 is equals to 7 by x so 1 is equal to 7 by x so x becomes 7 so from equation 1 y is equals to x under root 3 and x is equal to 7 and then root 3 this is nothing but 1.732 so 7 to the 14 to 5 so 1 is 7 5 12 12.124 meter but what is the height of the tower height of the tower is nothing but y plus 7 height of the tower is y plus 7 that means this is equals to uh, y is nothing but 12.124 plus 7 this is 19.124 meter this is the height of the tower so please note it down Okay, I hope you have completed this one. Now, next is circles. So, what about the theorems and what about the topics in circle? Uh, we are just going to discuss. Okay. now circles in the circles first thing is if you draw a tangent then from the center through the radius is always perpendicular to the 
tangent. This is the first theorem and this is very important theorem, okay? If we draw a line from the center to the point of contact, that means to the tangent, then this line is always perpendicular to the tangent, okay? Now, next theorem is, converse of this theorem, if a line which is from the center, then this is always perpendicular to the tangent. Or reverse, a converse of this theorem is what? A line which is perpendicular to the point of contact, then it always passes through the center. So, next theorem, if we draw pair of tangent from an external point, Okay, then this is always equal. That means PT is equals to PT dash. We have already give the proof of this theorem in the last lecture. So you always remember if we draw pair of tangent from the external point, then it is always equal okay so proof is very easy if you want to see you can see this is 90 this is 90 this is common side in both and also this is the radii of the same circuit so by SAS axiom these two triangles are congruent and by CPCT all sides are equal that's why PT is equals to PT Yes. Now, some questions of the type here, suppose this is the question in which this is given as 6, this is given as 10, then find the uh, length of the tangent. So, you know that what is the length of tangent PT and this is 90, that's why using Pythagoras, PT dash is equals to OP square pt dash square plus ot dash square is equals to op square. So pt dash whole square is equals to op square this is 10 plus 10 square minus ot square this is 6 whole square. So what you get pt dash whole square is equals to 100 minus 36 so pt dash whole square is uh, 64 this implies pt dash is equals to plus minus 8 that means 8 because distance never be negative so this is the actually question based on this now we see some more questions suppose uh, this is the triangle uh, sorry circle this is the circle there is the common tangent and draw this okay and this is the center understood so we need to show suppose p p dash t c okay so we need to show pc is equals to p C, PT is equals to PT dash. Okay. PT is equals to PT dash. That means these two tangents are equal. So you cannot say these two tangents are on the same circle. We have to discuss the theorem. Then this is the same circle. This is the different circle. Then how will we prove? So we see here. If you see PC and PT, then this is the tangent on the same circuit. So, PC is equal to PT. Similarly, PC is equal to what? PT dash also. Okay. So, if you see these two equations, you can write what? PT is equal to PT dash. In the same manner, so many questions are there based on this tangent uh, to the circuit. So, please try to solve it. And whatever the doubt you can ask in live classes or you just write the comment 
section that particular question we want to ask so i am just telling tell that particular question so thank you for today